Well, it looks like it's going to be another fun day indoors today. So this vlog, I thought I might as well talk a bit more about the video editing that I've done over the last uh, six, seven years. Let's start at the beginning really, shall we? Right, I got interested in video editing probably about 15 years ago, I think, but I didn't have a show reel to make. So I didn't have any clients, no knowledge of how to actually edit video. So I downloaded a free version of Premiere, I think, it might have still been under Macromedia at the time. I'm not sure if it was Adobe at the time, but anyway. And then I actually self-taught myself, just going through the help files, going online tutorials, and that's how I taught myself how to actually edit. I didn't actually do any college or university course at all until I needed to, because obviously I thought I could edit. I thought I could do a job for someone, but I needed the qualification. I needed a bit of paper to say, yes, he can edit. So in 1999, I believe, I went to Christchurch University College in Canterbury, where I did a multimedia computing course, which covered everything from uh, programming to editing to production, computer maths, or maths for computing, it was absolutely a nightmare. Um, that lasted two years. Um, once I finished that, I then changed direction a little bit. I, instead of concentrating on video editing, I actually got more involved in website designing, which I did for quite a few years, until I actually decided to try and be self-employed. That's when it all went pear-shaped. Unfortunately for me, I was unable to A, do the work and keep up with technology at the same time. During the time I was doing website designing, technology and uh, coding and the way the web was used changed dramatically. So I could never keep up with everything, you know. I thought I was doing good web designing, but you know, a couple of months down the line, what I was doing was then was now bad practice, you know. I was designing websites using Flash, you know, um, and then obviously once Google came along and people started to realise that websites made in Flash weren't search engine um, friendly. So all, all that effort and all that learning I went to making really fancy animated websites just went down the pan. Nobody wanted that anymore. People just wanted nice, well-designed, content-rich, search engine-friendly websites. I was sort of obsolete after that, you know, trying to learn everything at the same time, plus do the work, plus earn the money. It's become a bit of a nightmare for me. We had to, as a family, come to Zoom where I had to basically go out and get a proper job. So I you know, worked for Tesco's, I joined the prison service for a couple of years. Yeah, left the prison service and then worked for the Canterbury City Council just doing an office job in homelessness. But I was getting very unhappy, very unhappy about working um, in a dead end, I wouldn't say dead end job, but a job I just didn't want to do. I think my wife just said, look, what do you want to do? And I said, look, I want to go back to video editing. That's what I really, really enjoy doing. So she said, well, just do that and go for that. Find out how to get involved with that and do it. But again, it was back to the same problem of not having anything to show people. I couldn't say I'm a video editor. And they said, right, what have you edited? I go, nothing. So, I decided to just do free stuff. You know, I put my name out there, I went on Twitter and said, look, I'm a video editor, well, wanna be video editor. I'm willing to do free editing for a time just to get some sort of CV, some sort of show reel together that I could actually show people. So hopefully get some sort of client base or employment somewhere. And that worked. Just Twitter, Twitter worked great. It's a really, really good place to be at that time. Just a few tweets, literally a few days later, I was doing um, free editing which is fine because I still work in accounts at the same time. So I will finish my, my, my day job, go home, and then um, just start editing with no pressure, really, it's free. So there's no, no real time scale, no, no deadline. I can just get on with it, sort of learn at the same time. And then out in blue, I get this tweet that um, basically changed my life, really. It's a tweet that asked me where I was based. I said, I was, I'm based in the UK. I said, whereabouts in the UK? I said, in Kent. So whereabouts in Kent are you based? So I told him, and so that's really weird. His production company were actually working in the same town that I lived. So he asked me if I was interested in going and meet these guys, and I met these two guys in a pub, <laughs> and the rest is history, really. Six years later, I'm still working for them. I sort of doubled my wages. <laughs> um, but as a, all good things must come to an end, and at the end of last year, um, things changed quite a lot, which meant I had to basically find extra work. So again, I was left in a position of having a CV, um, but just having one type of niche. So basically I had to go online, go on the job sites and try and find uh, more employment. 
first time I saw an advert for uh, a company that were looking for UK based uh, video editors to work for a Los Angeles based video editing company, a YouTube uh, marketing company. So I applied and uh, I couldn't believe who they were. I couldn't believe their, their client base, you know. So I, I applied and uh, I'd done a test edit and four months later I was still working for them. And I worked for a few of their clients. One main one that most people will recognize is Vitaly, a US Russian guy loaded i think it's about 10 million subscribers at least and i was working on his videos quite a lot basically my brief is keep it fast paced a bit of music some sound effects some flashy text here and there and that's what i've been doing and then and then i'd also work for another guy i can't remember his name what was his name i'm gonna have to put it on the screen somewhere because i can't remember off the top of my head it's a bit embarrassing really what was his name what was his name it's his name him anyway i've also working for three other of their clients that i can't tell you who they are because I have to sign a non-disclosure agreement before I start working for them. So yeah, I understand that's not a problem. So I can't really delve into too much detail about uh, who I actually edit for on a day-to-day -day basis. I am full-time. I literally start at five in the morning and I only finish about 10. Um, but again, it's a job that I love doing, so it's not no big deal. So that's when, <laughs> that's where this 100 days of challenge gets in the way sometimes now. It's, I don't wish I didn't start it, but maybe I should have put a little bit more thought into how much time it's going to take. Yeah, it does eat into my thought process and my editing time quite a lot, really. Yeah, I think I might have an early night tonight, and I think, oh no, I've got to do my 100 day vlog. So, yeah, even though I love doing it, and I'm really happy to do it. I haven't met people, but I've got some, you know, some people that I enjoy talking to and uh, talking to on Facebook. It's, uh, this is probably one of the best perks of the whole thing so far. Um, I haven't really gained as many subscribers as I thought I would do doing, day, doing daily vlogging. I thought doing daily vlogging would push my subscribers up. I think I've gained about 20. Yeah, about 20 subscribers since I've been doing this. This is day 28. So roughly one, on average, it's about one uh, subscriber per day. But yeah, and to be honest, it wasn't about the numbers, I don't think. But I'll, yeah, I didn't set out to do the 100, day, 100 days from challenge thinking I was going to be a overnight superstar but I was hoping for a little bit more subscribers a bit more interaction but uh, it's, uh, I think I know what it is I think the watch time I think I'm not getting as many search engine hits as I thought because most of my videos are about four to five minutes long I think you really need to be pushing seven eight nine ten minutes to get that watch time up which um, YouTube like to have basically work on Premiere Pro Creative Cloud now I've done a lot of work with Final Cut uh, I obviously use Photoshop every day. Uh, what else do I use? That's about it, really. But yeah, I'm also on Twitter. Um, but I, I have like a, a different account for Twitter. I've got about eighteen and a half thousand followers. But again, that's under a, an account that I can't disclose right now. But hoping to do it one day. One day I can actually disclose exactly who who I am. Yeah, I have like an alter ego that um, yeah, like twenty thousand. Well, eighteen and a half thousand followers on Twitter and someone's someone coming in now that doesn't want to be my videos but look he interrupts me <sighs> how annoying I'm hoping this will be one of the last videos I'll just sit here and waffle on because I'm hoping my Osmo Mobile 2 will arrive in the next couple of days and I can get out and about and uh, do some outdoor shots A I've been busy indoors so I can't get out too much and also there's some shoots that I want to do that I don't want to waste without the Osmo I think using the Osmo with some of the locations I want to go to will um, uh, really enhance them so I don't want to waste those ideas just running around with a phone in my hand waiting to use the Osmo mobile so I'm hoping to get that the next couple of days it was ordered on the when was it on the 6th of April and it says seven to ten days delivery time so it should be any time now 11 and a half minutes talking that's not bad for me but by the time I cut it down, cut out all the rubbish, cut out all the stop starts, all the ums and ahs, um, should cut it down to about three and a half minutes. <laughs> you never know. Right, that's enough. Day 28 done. Check out all the links below. All the guys doing the 100 days vlog challenge are all going through the same process as me, trying to find new content, thinking up new ideas, getting it filmed, getting it edited, getting it online. So yeah, check them out. And uh, we'll, well, I'll catch you tomorrow sometime.